In this video, I'll show you how to create a simple subscription product on your WooCommerce store using the AOVL subscriptions plugin. Let's get straight into it. So for example, we can add a simple subscription just like this here. So here it's $49 a month with a $9.97 sign up fee, right? We can even do it like this as well with a $1 free trial and we can even do paid trial as well. So for example, for this digital software product here, it's $2.97 a month. And this time there's a seven day $1 no risk free trial right so i'll show you how to create this and so much more and this is all done with the aov up subscriptions plugin so just head over to aovup.com i'll leave a link in the description below and with that being said let's head over to our dashboard so i'm assuming you've already got the aov up subscriptions plugin installed and activated if you have so i just want to change a few settings before we actually go ahead and create our subscriptions product right so bear with me just a second so the first thing is we want to navigate over to customizations here Right. And I want to change the add to cart text. So by default, it will say sign up or something of that nature. Right. So I want to change this to a custom text. So I'm just going to change it to subscribe. And then on a the checkout, instead of the place order button saying sign up, I can change it to whatever I want. So, so I want to make these changes first. And then finally, I want to head over to billing management. And we can scroll down and tweak some of these settings. But the settings I want to enable is this auto renewal toggle, right? So I want to click this option to enable the auto renewal toggle. So the customer can decide whether they want their subscriptions to auto renew or they want to go ahead and manually make that payment when the payment's due, right? So, so in some countries, this is a must. So it's just something to consider. However, if you just want the payment to be taken automatically, you can just disable this and it will be billed accordingly, right? Okay. So we with that being said, let's go ahead and create our subscription product. So we'll navigate over to products and then add new. Okay, so we'll go ahead and create our product. So I'm going to name this one um, coffee box, All right? On the product data, I'm going to go ahead and select simple subscription in terms of available subscription. So you might have seen this option here. I'll create a separate video, which I'll leave a link on screen to that video showing you how to create a variable subscription. So I just want to keep everything separate and simple. Okay, so now we need to add our subscription price. So I'm going to say, so for my coffee box, I'm going to say it's $25 and we're going to build this every month right or we can do it yearly weekly or whatever we can change the frequency here stop renewal after so we're going to leave this as default so it says don't stop billing until the customer actually cancelled their subscription right so in this case it doesn't make sense to add a free trial right but if you wanted you could add for example a seven day free trial here i'm just going to remove this because it doesn't make sense and we can tick this option to make it a paid trial right um sign up fee i'm gonna add a five dollar sign up fee here and then we'll add a text here and we'll just say something like sign up fee and then we can hit publish so if you wanted to create a digital product so this example's for a physical product and since it's a physical product we can navigate to inventory and we can enable our inventory management right so we can say we have 50 units of this particular product and then once it's out of stock we'll disable this product right however let's go back to general if you're selling a digital product then you'll go ahead and tick this option so it's virtual so there'll be no shipping information required from the customer on the checkout page right and we can also make this into a downloadable product right so let's say for example we're selling an ebook if we tick this downloadable option we can go ahead and we can add the file name so for example we'll add the ebook name here and then we'll go ahead and upload the ebook and then in terms of download limit we can go ahead and customize it so maybe we want to say they can download it three times and the download link maybe expires after a certain period right so let's go ahead and deselect this because this is a physical example and let's just hit publish and let's view product and this is our coffee box subscription product, which is $25 a month with a $5 sign up fee. So let's say, for example, if you wanted to add various different options to this, right? So maybe you want customers to choose whether they want to go on a yearly plan, right? Or maybe a six months plan, you want to give them that option. So we can achieve this in a few different ways. So we can set up a variable subscription. Right? As I said, I'll leave a link in the description and on screen to that particular video where we'll give them the option option to choose from that plan so let's say for example we wanted customers to choose from subscribing either monthly yearly or maybe every six months i'll quickly show you an example and then as i said i'll leave a link on screen and in the description below through a video showing you how to do that but here's a live example so for example here 
This is a subscription product and our customers can choose how many sessions they want per month. Again, this could be anything, right? So this could be maybe every four months or maybe every six months or whatever. So we can change this option here, right? But essentially, this is a variable subscription and here the pricing and the offers change as well. So if you can see for four sessions a month, it's $97. However, if you want eight sessions a month, it's $197. It's got a seven day free trial as well. Another approach is we can even allow the customer to do a one time purchase or they can subscribe, right? And then we can even add a different frequency here. So when they hit subscribe, we can say, for example, and I'll show you on this live site here. Um, maybe every three months as this example showing or every six months and so on. But as I said, I'll leave a link in the description below to a playlist where I show you different use cases of how you can add subscriptions to your website.